Indiana making history as we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. We're taking note at how the federal court system right here in Indianapolis made sure to make sure that the bench reflects more of our state. Mario Garcia was having a great day at Greenbrier Elementary. In the spirit of the sign, he caught the fever to excel in the classroom and exude confidence as he moved on to Ball State, IU School of Law, and the federal courthouse. It's very humbling. I, I don't think I set out in my practice to, to be a judge. We met Judge Garcia in one of the federal courtrooms in downtown Indianapolis. This place historically has not had the representation. So could you, could you see yourself in this role? So while we didn't have another member of the uh, uh, Hispanic community on the bench, I didn't see that as a, as a limitation or, or as a, a ceiling that I couldn't break through. I'm Mario Garcia. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That breakthrough came on April 5th, 2021. He was sworn in as a magistrate judge for the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Indiana. This doesn't happen often. I am truly humbled to be here. And this time, it was the first time a person of Hispanic heritage in the Southern District would be sitting on the federal bench. If you can't see it, you can't be it. Being able to represent um, just one of many different cultures here in our community is something that uh, I'm, I'm happy to do. Uh, but anyone can serve this uh, in this capacity if you have uh, the right uh, experience, the right dedication, uh, the right commitment to uh, justice and uh, to representing uh, the bench in a, a fair and impartial manner, uh, certainly anyone could obtain this job. Born in Bloomington, he's also proud of his mother's European and his father's Mexican roots, a cultural connection that has served as a roadmap on his life's journey. Hard work matters, and uh, it, it is absolutely something that I learned from them and, and from my greater family. Garcia was in private practice for more than two decades before being selected as a magistrate. As a lawyer, he spent years providing free legal services to those facing federal criminal charges. It's an experience he believes helps him as a judge. It helps me give a little bit of insight into where that individual may be coming from and help offer maybe um, some thoughts or opinions um, about where they uh, currently stand based on my experience. Maybe it gives me just a little bit of credibility in their eyes. Quicker we can bring parties justice, and that, that's the whole goal here, is to bring justice quicker, sooner, efficiently, and fairly. And so as a magistrate judge, Judge Garcia's position is up for review every eight years by the federal judges in the Southern District, Indiana, making history.